Hello, this is another episode of Backyard Politics, and I'm Nikki. Um, last night, the DNC was up to no good, like usual. Uh, there were reports that the app that they just released uh, had failed, and then there were also reports that the phone lines had failed. Um, they basically said they had conflicting reports and they didn't know what was going on, and they would release the uh, results in like two days or something like that. Last I saw, they were supposed to release the results tonight, but it just gives them time to fuck with stuff. So, I wanted to share with you what I found out last night in this morning. Um, for everyone saying, I said this on Twitter, saying the DNC can't get things right, you're looking at it all wrong. The system is fixed. This was completely intentional. The app by shadow involves Mayo T, which is Mayor Pete. This was intentional and will keep happening. We must be prepared. And I had retweeted Brooke Hines, who had uh, tweeted out this video clip of TYT. I don't normally use TYT as a source, but in this case it fits. So. Might have won today. I have an important update, and, and I want to make sure everybody oh, okay. knows about it. Okay, okay. so um, Huffington Post has confirmed that uh, the company behind that app is Shadow, okay? And uh, the financial disclosures do indicate that Peak for America Inc. Um, paid for the software rights and subscriptions on July 23rd, 2019, to the tune of $21,250. That is a, a conflict of interest beyond description. <laughs> Could you imagine if in the general election we use an app to count the votes paid for by Donald Trump? Or could you imagine if Bernie did it? What kind of last check there'd be for that? Um, Brooke Hines also wrote, if you know, knew the Hillary team, you know the shadow team. She says that because Tara McGowan tweeted out, remember Tara McGowan's name? Meet the shadow team. James Hickey, COO at Shadow Inc. Engineering Manager for Hillary for America. Krista Davis, CTO at Shadow Inc. Staff Backend Software Engineer, Hillary for America. Gerard Niamira, CEO of at Shadow, Hillary for America, Director of Product. Anna Rao, I think her name is, Product Manager at Shadow, Special Assistant to the CTO for Hillary for America. So why would Hillary for America be funding or be uh, having the shadow team who is funded by Buttigieg's campaign? Follow the money. Frederick Joseph uh, tweeted, which I retweeted, the fact that Mayor Pete came out and claimed victory in Iowa with less than 2% of the votes counted is steeped in white man privilege and ego. Very true. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wrote, after I retweeted Jordan from Status Coup, I wrote, we create warfare in other countries to, quote, spread democracy, but don't even have it in the good old U.S. of A. What a complete shit show. Iowa caucus disaster. So Jordan wrote something similar to what I had tweeted previously. Uh, Everyone looking at Iowa Dems over Iowa caucus disaster is looking in the wrong direction. DNC and Tom Perez is involved with enlisting shadow app, which was in part funded by Pete Buttigieg and never disclosed. Could you imagine if Bernie Sanders camp gave money to caucus app and was not and was not disclosed? One of the 79 accounts that Shadow Inc. headquarters follows is the dark money group that launched attack ads on Bernie's last tweet. That was courtesy of Samuel D. Finkelstein the second, and a little romp of home. The app is actually called Pete Buttigieg's Florida Brother. Okay, so this one, Mike Preisner uh, tweeted out, this is who Shadow is. Tara McGowan, who I had mentioned just a little bit ago, who tweeted about, Oh, meet the Shadow team. With Shadow, we're building a new blah-de-blah-de-blah. Mayor Pete is running. 
Look at how fucking out in the open and corrupt this shit is. This is ridiculous. Luckily, Bernie was prepared for it. Bernie Sanders' campaign releases internal caucus members. I also got an email from them that reads, Last night was a bad night for democracy, for the Democratic Party, and for the people of Iowa. But because you have done so much for this campaign, and in the interest of full transparency, as we wait for Iowa, the Iowa Democratic Party to release results, we want to share the numbers that we have at this moment. And the reason they have that is because the Bernie team was prepared for this uh, such corruption that they created their own app to make sure that they counted the votes so they had somebody actually getting the right results. Um, as a result of the extraordinary grassroots campaign fueled by thousands of volunteers who knocked on hundreds of thousands of doors, our internal results sent to us by precinct captains around the state indicate that with close to 60% of the vote in, we have a comfortable lead. Our numbers also show Buttigieg is currently in second, followed by Warren, then Klobuchar, and then Biden. And then uh, he says, let, well, it's uh, his campaign manager, but he says, let me reiterate that these are unofficial results, but we wanted to share them to let you know that we feel good about where we are right now as we head to New Hampshire. And then they go on to ask for um, fundraising money because they don't take corporate PAC money. So, uh, what can we learn from all of this? The DNC obviously has not learned its lesson. They haven't learned any new tricks even, which is the same old shit. Um, we can't let this stand. I do want to share uh, one last tweet with you, though. I forgot about it. Abby Martin says, The insanity of the Iowa caucus has resulted in every candidate giving a victory speech, taking the wind out of Bernie's likely win and a Scaring Biden's crushing loss. U.S. democracy is a parody. Now, with that, I don't want to leave you uh, upset, discouraged, anything like that. They were prepared, which is good for the future because that means they'll be prepared for the rest of the crap that the DNC is going to throw their way. But what's kind of unique about this is sometimes because progressives are against the corporate Democrats, sometimes we can rely on some Republican outlets to uh, spread the truth about what's going on as far as how corrupt the DNC is, because they're exposing them from the right, and we're exposing them from the left. So just because somebody's a Republican, don't count them out, hear them out, maybe you will come up with something you both agree on, and fuck the DNC. Until next time, Medicare be with you.